Okay, here's how you solve Fudoshiki puzzles. Fudoshiki puzzles are Japanese puzzles that use the greater than or less than sign. Uh, here's the greater than sign shows you that this number has to be larger than this number. Um, the puzzles that I will do will use the numbers 1 through 4. And um, when you want to solve these puzzles, you just use these greater than or less than signs as clues. Uh, a good place to start, I know that this number has to be bigger than this number. This number has to be bigger than this number. And this number has to be bigger than this number. Uh, well, it's pretty obvious that this will be 4, 3, 2, and 1. Um, now, when I look up at the top, oh, also in this row across here, there's three of the numbers are used, there's only one thing left. It has to be a one. Um, now in the top row, I can see that one is on the outside, one is on the outside. One of these two numbers has to be a one. This particular square can't be a one because this number has to be bigger than something. So I know that this has to be a one. Now we have one in the first column, the second column. The third column is missing a one. It can't go here. It can't go here, so it must go here. When I look up here, I can see that um, these two squares have to be either a three or a four, because we have one, two. These have to be three or four. This square cannot be a 4 because this number is smaller than something. So this must be a 3 and this must be a 4. Now when I look here, there's only one number bigger than a 3 and that is the 4. Um, there's only one thing left in this row. 1, 2, 3, 4. When I look at this column, there's one thing missing. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now when I look here, I'll do the same thing, or I'll go across this way, it'll be easier for me. 1 and 4 are used, that means these two have to be 2 or 3. This can't be a 2, so it must be a 3. It can't be a 2 because there's a 2 already right above it. So if that's a 3, this has to be a 2. And now across the bottom, 1, 2, these have to be 3 and 4. Well, there's a 4 here. This can't be a 4. It must be a 3. So this one must be a 4. And then I'll click on Done. And it tells me that I succeeded in solving the puzzle. Um, all right, now that's how you solve a puzzle. I'll solve two or three just to let you see, just to give you an idea of how to do these. Here's a new puzzle when I look at it. If I look at this one, I can see that there are four things used up across here. I can see that this is smaller than this, this is smaller than this, this is bigger than this. Now this can be a three or a four. The way I know that is if this is one, two, three, actually it can't be a three. One, two, three, that would be a four. So um, I'm pretty sure it has to be a 4, so I'll put a 4. Now, this can be 1 or 2, and I can go ahead and notate in there that's going to be 1 or 2. Now this has to either be a 3 or a 2, and this has to be a 1 or a 2. Now, when I look across the bottom, I can see that there's a 1 or 2 in the first column, and a 1 or 2 in the second column. That means either 1 is here and 2 is there, or 1 is here and 2 is there. But either way you look at it, the 1 and the 2 are used up. That tells me this one has to be a 3. And um, now I'm just going to keep looking and see what other hints I can get. Um, let's see. This square right here, has to be bigger than whatever is over here. It can't be a, th a 3, so it has to either be a 4 or a 2. 
and this side over here has to either be a 1, 2, or 3. I'm not going to put that in. Uh, let's keep looking. This right here cannot be a 4, and it cannot be a 3. The reason it can't be a 4 is it is smaller than something. It can't be a 3 because there's a 3 there, so I know that's a 1 or a 2. Um, let's keep looking. This can either be 2, 3, or 4. I'm not going to put that down. In this column, this can't be a 4, and it can't be a 1. It can't be a 1 because there's something smaller than it. So this has to either be a 2 or a 3. So we have a 2 or a 3. If this is a 2 or a 3, that means this has to be 1 or 2. Um, now this can't be a 3. This cannot be a 3, and it cannot be a 4. If it's not a 3 or a 4, it must be a 1 or a 2. Now, if I have a 1 or a 2 in the top, and a 1 or a 2 in the third, they are, um, are already used up. There can't be a 1 or a 2 in this box, therefore this box must be a 3. Now I have 3 in the first column, the second column, the third column. That tells me that 3 has to be in the fourth column in this spot. It's the only one left. Now if this is a 3, the number next to it has to be a 4. Uh, now if I look here, I can see that I have 4, 4, one of these two must be a 4, and one of these two must be a 4. This one's already used, so I know this is a 4. So now I have 4, 4, 4, and 4. Now this was a 1 or a 2, so I'll go ahead and put it in. I don't really need to, but I'll do it just to show you. So these two have to be 1 or 2, these two have to be a 1 or 2, these two have to be a 1 or 2, and these two have to be 1 or 2. But when I look here, this can't be a 1 because it's bigger than something. So this has to be a 2, this has to be a 1. If that's a 1, this has to be a 2, and this has to be a 1. If that's a 1, then this has to be a 2. If that's a 2, then this has to be a 1. If that's a 1, then this has to be a 2. Oops, sorry, that was a 1. I hit it wrong. If that's a 1, then this has to be a 2. And if this is a 2, this has to be a 1. And there we go. We solved that puzzle. Worked pretty easy. I'll go ahead and do one more just to see if there are any more um, techniques or things that I can show you. Now these are easy. Easy um, Fudoshiki. If you go to 5x5, five five, it gets harder, or 6x6. Six six. But here's another puzzle. Let's take a look. All right, this puzzle, if I look here across the bottom, here's something I didn't show you before. This is smaller than something. This is smaller than something. And this is smaller than something. If all three of these have to be smaller than something, then the only one that isn't smaller is this one. So this one has to be a 4. Now, um, that could be 1, 2, or 3. That could be 1, 2, or 3. That could be 1, 2, or 3. So that that's where we're at. Now, if we look here, the little thing, if you have three in a row, here, here, and here, I know that this has to be 1 or 2, this has to be 2 or 3, and this has to be 3 or 4. Um, it's just the way it works. The same thing happens here. If this is 1 or 2, this has to be 2 or 3, and this has to be 3 or 4. Now when I look across this row, I have a 3 or a 4, and a 3 or a 4. That means the 3 and the 4 are used up. If there's a 4 here, there's a 3 there. If there's a 3 here, there's a 4 there. So there cannot be a 3 or a 4 in this space, so this one must be a 2. The one below it has to be smaller than 2. The only thing smaller than 2 is 1. Um, now, across the bottom, I have 1 and 4. 1 and 4. That means this has to be a 2 or a 3. And this has to be a 2 or a 3. If this is 2 or a 3, and this is a 2 or a 3, this can't be a 2, it must be a 1. 
and this can't be a 3, it must be a 4. And therefore, this can't be a 4, it must be a 3. This must be, the only thing left is a 1, because there's three numbers there, the only thing left is a 1. Now, um, let's keep looking. If this is 1, 2, these are both 3 or 4. Oh, here's a 3. If this is a 3, this one down here must be a 2. If that's a 2, this must be a 3. If this is a 3, this must be a 2. Now we have 2 in the bottom, second from bottom, third to bottom, so the top one must be a 2. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4. Now right here, these are 1 or 2, that means these two have to be 3 or 4. 3 is already used here, so we'll make that a 4. We'll make this a 3. 2 or 3 are used, so these have to be 1 or 4. So this is a 4, and this is a 1. And we are done. So I've just solved three Fudoshiki puzzles. If you want to find Fudoshiki puzzles, go to um, Google and just Google Fudoshiki. This is um, puzzles-fudoshiki.com. Um, I, I solve a lot of puzzles at that site. It's a good place. Anyway, I hope you have fun with this. They're really good puzzles.